All right, so we're just gonna do a quick uh, comparison of the uh, 2019 uh, Chevy Colorado factory projectors. Um, so basically how we have it set up is, uh, you know, I did a retrofit in my truck, obviously, but uh, I'm actually swapping LED into a 2018 Tahoe, which used the same uh, bulbs, the uh, housing's a little different. I think it's a three inch lens instead of a two and a half like the Colorado uses. I might be mistaken on that, but uh, got LEDs in this one. I got the factory bulb in this one, and we'll just do a quick output comparison to see the difference. Alright, so first things first, we're going to try and shoot it at the same spot to the uh, factory headlight. So as you can see, this is the original halogen bulb. And we'll just do a slow pan up so you can see the foreground and the spread it has. And uh, obviously, by doing this on a phone, the video quality isn't going to be perfect because the exposure values are going to change automatically. But uh, basically, that's that's about 40, 45 feet away is that fence. And as you can see, there's good width on it. Not too bad. It's about a 100 foot fence line width, anyway. So you, you're getting about 50 feet in either direction from the hot spot. So that's actually pretty decent. So uh, we'll just bring it back in. You can see how the foreground lights up. Nice defined foreground limiter. Keeps the you know light in, directly in front of the truck to a minimum, which is what you would have the fog lights come on for, in my opinion. And uh, that's that. Uh, the voltage might be a little shy of uh, 13 volts with how we're testing this right now, so just uh, keep that in mind. The LED might be slightly brighter than the halogen will be, but even still. So now we're just going to bring in the LED, and as you can see, there's a slight... Um, let me just... We'll do this real quick. So you can see here that's the pattern with a bulb and that's the pattern with an LED so you can see there's a little bit more of a dead spot than with a halogen and that's just because the the width of the bulb from each side of the filament's wider you know on this the filament lights up completely and the only thing shadowing is the piece of metal that runs through to go to the far side of the filament for the light but uh, anyway as far as performance does very similar, but I'm I'm sure you could probably tell right away the hot spot's a little bit brighter, and then the width on it is definitely better. Like you can see all the way out to those corners, and I'll even put this in the same spot that I had it in. Now uh, I'm sure you could tell the cutoff. It's a little bit sloped com by comparison to how it was, but it's still got a really nice defined hot spot, and the width just goes all the way out. So I'm going to slide this over, and we'll leave that like that, and we'll actually bring in the halogen. You can't even really tell that that's on. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance of this. And like I said, you can see the the cutoff. Up, oh, and my power supply just went out. We'll uh, we'll pick this up in a couple minutes. All right, sorry about that. I actually just grabbed the uh, car battery to continue this test so we're just gonna go back up and now we have a basically fully charged battery here so as you can see we got cut off dispersing 
pretty much all the way across the fence line. So you're talking about 100 to 50 feet. And you can see it all the way on the edges here, basically, until you get to the limit of the lens, which in and of itself is impressive. And now we're just going to bring in, because now we have a fully charged battery, so we can actually bring in this. And, yeah, you can't even really tell that that's on. Like, you can see it a little bit, but it ain't, it ain't anything like, uh, like the LED. And, just to be fair, I will, uh, We'll bring this up now that it's fully charged. And, yeah, you can see we get the cutoff out on the edge too, but I'm sure you could also tell just by looking at the video that the f-stop, like the shutter speed and everything, has been compensated for by the uh, phone camera. So we'll just, uh, we'll turn that LED back on. But I mean, yeah, to, on the camera, you can see it, but to me, to my eyes, we, uh, it ain't doing much in terms of, uh, improving it. Um, so I will say, which the adjustment on the shutter does help a lot with, you can see the, uh, foreground definitely has a little blacked out area compared to when you bring this in at the uh, same height it definitely fills that out a little bit but again look at the contrast you're getting some light spill into that foreground area but you can it's not really helping with anything anywhere else uh, one thing I will say you're getting a little bit better foreground on the edges to the sides of the road than you would be if I just uh, just using the halogen like you can see you aren't getting the uh, edge to edge foreground in this area that you were getting with the LED so in that regard I would say that alone is worth the improvement because now these things on the side of the road that you wouldn't normally see you'll see but it's out of your direct field of view so you'll catch it in your peripheral rather than it actually blinding you and leading to a uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like night blindness ba situation, basically, where uh, you know you're not dealing with uh, a direct amount of light coming in. And I mean, this is right up close, and you can see there's a definite uh, brightness difference, intensity difference, and the the hot spots more focused. As you can see, the cutoff remained about the same. But, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, what would you rather have? I think the uh, LED is the way to go. So, uh, thanks for watching.